Billy, I don't know how to get out of your plane. I, I, I'm I, just gonna die. I'm dead. Alrighty. Hello, guys. Welcome, you faces, back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today, we've got something actually pretty awesome to show you guys. Uh, this thing right here is actually possibly the biggest locomotive in Stormworks at the moment. This thing right here is actually called the EMP. IND Dreadnought Mark 1 and uh, it actually takes up two tracks So as you guys can see right here, we got some bogeys on this side if we go to the other side We've actually got some bogeys on this side and um, yeah, this thing is absolutely massive So what I figured we'd do today is we'd actually get this thing driving and um, Yeah, that's what we're gonna try. Let's go hey! Okay, so I don't actually know how to get inside this thing. I am not gonna lie. I, I genuinely don't know how to get inside. So uh, we're gonna run around a little bit and figure this out. Can I jump on here? Is this the way in? Nope, that can't be it. Okay, interesting. Let's get our little torch and have a little look underneath. That looks fantastic. The framework is cool. Uh, I don't think any of that is actually helpful though. Uh, it has also rolled backwards. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I think I see the way in. All right, here we go. Climb up here. Very nice. Push this little button. Some ramp will fall down. Go ahead and jump on. Go ahead and push this button again. And voila, we are on the inside. Awesome. Okay, so as you guys can see on the back of this thing, we actually have enough room to actually hold things, which is pretty cool. Uh, we could put a container right there. We can actually put a container right there as well. And another one there and another one here as well, which is awesome. Uh, right here, we've got a door, which brings us to this room. Which I think is actually where we where we drive this thing. I'm pretty sure this is where we drive it. That's crazy. All right, reactor control. Let's go ahead and activate the reactor. Very nice. Uh, and we need to figure out how to actually how do I actually use this? Because I don't know. All right. So essentially, what I did then is I set this to seven. I've gone ahead and pumped this up to one. Uh, and it has actually started building pressure, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sit in this seat. We're gonna activate the terminal. Uh, we have activate drive right there. We have a circuit breaker which turns it on. Uh, we got a camera obviously at the front, the side, and the other side. Uh, and we got some he some lights. We got headlights. We got area lights. We've got a camera POV switch. We can actually look backwards, uh, and we can look forwards. And then we've got mid talk, and we've got reverse. All right, very nice. We got a speed target right there, and we got our clutch, and that is it. All right, awesome. We've gone ahead and we've got optimal steam pressure. So if we activate the drive. And then we do this. We should start moving. Or do I have to do this? Do, do, what do I have to do? How do I get this thing moving? Is it moving? No. How do I drive this thing? I have no idea. Speed target. Let's say 10. There we go. Speed target is 10. We are now moving. Alright, okay. Uh, I don't know how this thing is going to react with... Um, with, I don't know, those side pieces or lane switching or anything like that. Um, but hopefully everything goes well here. I, I don't see it going well, though. I need to change that signal on the left side. How do I do that? I don't know how this works. Set to 440. 440. Okay. Uh. Alright, it's changed over, so that one's gonna stay there. And then I think we're good. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get the speed going. Let's go, go, go. What kind of speed do we want? 100. I don't know what speeds this thing actually gets to, so I guess we'll test that out. Oh, I actually think it's 40. Let's let's uh, let's put this thing at like 35. There we go. Uh, and we should get up to speed pretty quickly, I think. Uh, and that will be awesome. Nice. Okay, so the speed is actually climbing right there. The white is meters per second and the red is not. So that's actually a pretty cool thing. That's calculated. That's awesome. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, press this. And there we go. All right, we went up to the right speed straight away. Uh, we catapulted forwards. We got a little bit of wheel spin, but that's okay. This thing is massive. That's cool, though. That's actually so cool. This is one huge train, but that isn't it, actually. I, I did see some more doors, so let's go ahead and get outside, and we'll have a little look inside of here, because there's other things. Uh, oh, wow, are these the reactors? Okay, this is the turbine room. Interesting, okay. So there is obviously a nuclear reactor on this thing somewhere. I just don't really know where it is. Uh, but that's it. That's the engine room right there. This is the control room, and this is also the engine room. And then, yeah, that is it. So, what I figured we'd do is we'd actually go to an airport, and uh, I might try and land a plane in the back of this. 
Yeah, why not? All right, so this is the Ignite CAC, um, what is it, bush plane custom? Uh, let's go ahead and get inside. Uh, it was built by Billy Bly. Let's go ahead and uh, try and fly this thing. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I want to try and land it right in the back because why not? You know, it makes sense. All right, engine's running. Let's go ahead and throttle up and let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is very good. We're in the sky. That's very nice. There we go. So I wanted something that was quite kind of small, which this thing is. Uh, and I wanted something that would actually be able to fly slow enough and is also small enough to land in the back of it. So I think we've got the right plane here. Let's try it. All right, I've gone ahead and put the wheel brakes on straight away. Uh, I figured that was a good idea. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the flaps down whenever we get closer as well. And that's going to be it for us. I think we're going to be able to do this. We're going to try anyway. There it is. There it is right there. Okay, we need it to go on a straight, which uh, it is about to do, actually. We need to be a little bit quicker. Uh, and we need to catch it on one of the straights in order to try and land on it. So, I don't know how this is going to go. Landing on, on Stormworks' biggest locomotive. I don't know. I don't know about this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slow down while we're flying. We are still on the straight, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, and we need to, like, I don't know, match the speed of it. Although I know it's very slow. <gasps> okay, I mean, oh no, okay, what? We landed on the back of it and then it drove off. We couldn't stop. My parking brake was on and everything. Oh god, we need to try that again. How do I get out? Oh, I'm gonna burn to death. Help. Billy, I don't know how to get out of your plane. I, I, I'm I, just gonna die. I'm dead. All right, well, we, we need a new plane anyway. Let's try that again. What is that? I've now got the cut that like the tutorial. Oh, that's very annoying that that's on the screen, but it's gonna have to stay on the screen. Anyway, let's go ahead and close the door again. There we go. Avionics, now flight stabilizer, engine. Okay, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Throttle up to full and take off instantly. That seems like a good idea. All right, there we go. Awesome. Uh, and we're gonna fly over there and land on it ASAP. Um, yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know why that's on my screen. We have to do the tutorial in order to actually get rid of that. But, um, I know where that is. It's down there, right there. So, we're going to go ahead and line up the, on the next straight, which uh, will give us a lot of chance to actually try and, like, figure out how this plane actually works. We need to get it down to... How, how fast was that thing moving in knots? Oh, God, I don't know. I can't remember. It was 35 meters per second. So, let's go with... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't fly that slow. That's what we figured out. It doesn't fly that slow. That's an issue. That's an issue. All right, I just wanted to say if you guys are enjoying this video, please leave a like on the video down below. It'll help me out massively. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, well, I mean, this seems like a decent speed because we are about to line up on it as it gets there, which is perfect. Uh, I've slowed down a lot more. All right, so it is actually going to get there quickly. Awesome. Okay. No, this is... This is... What is that? Why is Bean going off? What is going on? That doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? I just took off again. I just landed and took off. That is not what I wanted. That is really not what I wanted. All right, I'm trying to slow down. Speed up. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. That was close. All right, we're out of there. Okay, we need to turn around again. Uh, we still got a lot of this straight left, so let's just keep turning around, uh, and we'll be good. I'm going to turn off the stabilizer real quick. That's the engine. Okay, you don't want to turn that off. I've turned off the engine. I hope it's going to start back up. It has started back up. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and turn ourselves... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's put the stabilizer back on. It was actually pretty useful. Okay, very nice. We need to line ourselves back up again. And we need to put ourselves down on this locomotive. Let's do it. Come on, we got this. And I just need to stop, so the brakes need to work. But they don't. <laughs> the brakes need to work, but they don't. So that's not good. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We bounced off! We bounced off! Take off again! Okay, right, we're well, lucky this plane is so bouncy. 
We are so lucky. All right, turn around again. Come on, we got this. We don't got this. I just crashed into the water. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. I need to get out. Open the doors. Oh, God, I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim. Why can't I swim? Why can't I swim? All right, swim. Down. I, I can't move. I can't move. Swim. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm gonna die. I died. I died. What is going on? Should we try a helicopter instead? Is that a better idea? I don't know. Oh, I think what I did the first time was I turned the parking brake off. Yeah, that is that's not the best. Also, I'm no I'm not using the flaps ever, so I should probably use those too. Anyway, we're gonna get over there again. Uh, and we're gonna try this out one more time. Okay, so we need the parking brake to be on this time because that makes sense. Uh, I believe it's gonna be on the straight still, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if it's not on this straight, then we're gonna have to wait for it to turn the corner. And then we can do it on this bit right here, or even this tiny bit right here. Um, but I think we got this. I, I do, I think we got this. I just want to be able to land, uh, and then actually get out of the plane. Let's open these doors, actually. It doesn't impact the plane at all while flying, having the doors open, so... We'll leave those like that. Uh, and we got this. We totally got this. Alright, there it is. So it is actually, uh, it's gonna struggle. It needs to go around the corner a little bit. So we're gonna slow down our throttle a little bit. Uh, that is a good idea. Alright, awesome. We're going to slow it down. Uh, we're going to let it go around the corner. And then we're going to try and land on it on that straight right there. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's about to get on the straight. I'm slowing down, like, dramatically as we do this. Uh, and I'm going to hope for the best here. So, we're going in. Really? Really? I missed? Oh, no. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually gonna give up there. However, I have come up with a new idea. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. All right, activate the reactor. I can't remember how this actually works, but I put seven in uh, and it seemed to work last time. We'll do that as well. Uh, and that is awesome. We'll go ahead and do this uh, and this and this. There we go. Uh, activate the circuit breaker. Go ahead and put the clutch in for when it wants to move and lights. There we go. All right, very cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this switch on, because we are going to go backwards, uh, and that works out fine. We're going to go ahead and close up this door, uh, and that's okay too. Uh, yeah, alright, good. So, eventually, when this thing actually gets started, we'll go ahead and be able to reverse this thing into that one, uh, and we'll be good. We're going to put our target speed at 35, because it took a while last time. Um... But yeah, we got this. So we're going to reverse up to that one. We're going to connect them together. And then we're going to start that one up, get that one moving too. And we're going to try and land the plane in the middle of two of them. And therefore, we should get caught. Maybe. That's my plan anyway. Steam pressure is building. There we go. All right, awesome. We're at 50%. Uh, this is going to be 75. And then it's going to get to optimal steam pressure. And then we'll start going, I think. We're actually going to put this at lower. We're going to put it at about 10. Uh, so that we start going backwards. Uh, and there we go. All right, activate the clutch. We are now moving backwards. That's awesome. Uh, as soon as we are attached to that one, we'll go ahead and push it up to 35 again. Uh, and we'll try that out. I actually really like the idea of this. Uh, lights are going to stay on. That makes sense. Uh, we're slowly going to get up to that one. Now, I believe that those tracks need to be switched over. So while this is happening, we're going to go ahead and fly over to here. And we're going to push this. Uh, and that's going to allow the tracks to go in the right direction. And that is awesome. All right, they are actually attached together. Yes. All right, speed this up. We're going to go 35. Okay. Why isn't that camera working? I think it might be because it's inside of something. But that's all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. That'll speed us up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and jump on the other one. Get that one moving too. And then we got this. All right, we are actually moving. I don't know how fast we're, how fast are we going? We're going 32, just from the rear one. That is actually pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to continue going backwards. That's fine. We're going to let the steam pressure build up on this one. And then we're going to go ahead and set this to 35. Uh, and then this one will also go to 35. And that will make a lot of sense. Uh, then we'll put it in high torque and stuff. And it'll work, I think. Activate the drive uh, as soon as this works. All right, turn that off. As soon as this starts working, we'll go. We're getting there. This is uh, this is actually pretty interesting. So as soon as that gets up to there, we'll go ahead and push this button. Uh, we'll put the clutch all the way at full, and uh, we'll be motoring along at 35. In fact, we're already at 35, so I don't know why we need this one 
needed this one actually working, but never mind. Anyway, let's go and put this on, uh, and that should start wheel spinning a little bit, which is fine, uh, because I think it's going to start pulling away from the one behind us, which is weird, because that one should be moving at the same speed. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, actually. All right, I've upped the rear one to 36. We're going to go ahead and up the front one to 40, and that is how we're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. Uh, it should stop the wheel spinning, I believe, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, let's go get our plane, and we'll try and land it in here. Let's go, go, go! I actually really like this plane, too. Uh, if you guys haven't flown it before, it will be linked down below so you guys can check it out. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this, 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 and this. And that'll start up our thingamabobby. Press 1. That'll start us going forwards. We'll take off. We'll fly over there. And we'll do a good job. Come on, we got this. Alright, so this time, parking brake is going to go on, obviously, because we need that. Uh, we need to go ahead and slow ourselves down a little bit as well. I didn't realize this was the thing. Uh, we could have been using this the whole time, but never mind. Uh, and it is about to get a lot more laggy, so that's the thing too. There it is! We got a performance warning because we've just spawned in two massive locomotives, but that's okay. We're gonna line up on them. Uh, I believe we've got enough time to actually catch up and land on this straight. Uh, if not, we've obviously got more straights ahead of us. We're gonna go try it. We're gonna go try it. Come on, we got this. I'm not gonna lie, the lag is gonna make it a little bit more interesting because obviously things happen slower, but um... I feel like we do have this. We're going to try our best to land here. All right, okay. We are actually getting pretty close now. Let's go ahead and deploy our flaps. There we go. That means we can slow down massively because look at how much lift they generate. That's crazy. We've actually just went a lot higher. I've turned my engine off, essentially, just so I can lower myself back down. We might not have enough time on this straight. We might not actually have enough time. But we are going a lot slower, which is perfect. Oh, this is way better, actually. Wow, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cut our throttle. We'll, we'll actually start stalling out probably very soon. Let's have a little looky here. We're in 0.13. Okay, we are still generating thrust. So we are still going forwards. But we are kind of falling. Oh, wow. This is cool. This is cool. We're actually going to probably land... Oh, God. It's very interesting with the, with the flaps. I'm not going to lie. It, they're very difficult to use. Alright, okay, so we're just gonna try and like hover at least a little bit behind it, there we go. Uh, because it is faster than us with our flaps deployed, so that's okay. Uh, and we're gonna follow it around these bends. As soon as it gets on the next straight, we'll try and land. Or should we just try and land now? I, I think I'm gonna do it now, here we go. We are actually gaining on it, that makes sense. Alright, we can follow it around the bend. Okay, awesome. We're following it around the bend. And we're gonna land it right in the center of here. Let's do this. I lost a bit of control there. I lost a bit of control. Oh god. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. We still have this. Don't worry. We still have this. Okay. The lag is, is definitely making this a lot harder, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Okay. Good. Slow it down a lot, because we need to descend. Come on, we got this. Look at this. This is so cool. Alright, go forwards again. Alright, a little bit more power, a little bit more speed. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. We're drifting. Oh, that was close. That was close. We touched the train. Oh, God. I'm losing control and things. This ain't the best. This ain't the best. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. We need to fall again. Okay, we're falling. Come on. Land it. Land it. Yeah? We're taking off again! I don't know how to stop this plane! I don't know how to! <laughs> I don't know how this works! Ah! <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna say that counted. I'm actually gonna say that counted. Uh, we have actually survived this one too. Even though it's underwater. We've survived it. It is- it's gone. Uh, but that's alright. The train has gone too. But, um, we did it! I'm gonna say we landed. We just, uh, we have too much lift. I think I should have stopped the flaps. Because those- those generate a lot of lift. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please leave a subscribe. That would be awesome as well. Uh, and if you guys haven't already checked these out by yourselves, they'll both be linked down below. So um, you guys can check them out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.